Let's discuss this with Martin Vladimirov. He's the director of the Energy and Climate Program at the Center for the Study of Democracy. He joins us from Sofia in Bulgaria. Welcome to this news hour. Just talk us through how did Kosovo actually get to this point? Surely the government there would have realized a long time ago uh, what it meant to operate with coal-fired plants, which are about half a century old. Well, it should be noted that um, Kosovo has had similar energy crisis before, maybe not to the same extent, but it's a recurring phenomenon because, especially in the winter, um, it depends entirely on its own very aging uh, uh, lignite-fired power generation fleet uh, and on, ex on, on imports. And the lignite plants uh, are using uh, a resource that gets frozen very easily. So maintenance uh, of lignite plants is always tricky. This happens all across the Balkans. Uh, um, in 2017, for example, it happened in Romania and Bulgaria and caused uh, a, a slowdown of exports in the whole region and actually an import and export ban. So it's not surprising for the countries that rely on lignite that they face maintenance problems. Uh, but this is also a matter of bad governance, probably, and uh, the result of uh, uh, not enough control and supervision of this uh, of this maintenance work. Having said that, uh, relying entirely on one source of energy is always a bad choice. Um, it makes the country energy insecure, and, and in times of energy crisis, with prices skyrocketing, you know uh, the the price is paid by final consumers. Uh, by ordinary people, by households and businesses, it's important to know that the biggest issue in all of the Balkans, not only in Kosovo, is uh, um, energy poverty. Uh, more than 50 percent of, of the population of households in the region face uh, uh, problems in heating their homes adequately, in paying their bills, utility bills. I imagine with the current prices of electricity, especially for small businesses, uh, it will be a very, very difficult winter. Of course, uh, most governments uh, um, regulate prices at, uh, at levels uh, that are artificially low, below market levels. Uh, but this is not sustainable because someone has to pay the price. And the price is paid usually by power companies, which face difficulties in, uh, in actually uh, uh, importing then electricity from other countries at a much higher price. So, Martin, what kinds of uh, solutions might provide more sustainable ways out uh, for countries like Kosovo, other countries in, in the Balkans? Is this only a matter of, of going green? Well, this is one of the solutions. Uh, it's actually one of the most sustainable solutions to decreasing energy insecurity. Um, because when you rely on your own sources, on your own renewable energy sources like solar and wind, uh, you, you wouldn't need to import as much electricity. Um, and Kosovo has abundant solar potential, and it has done quite a lot of work on this. Uh, uh, there is a, a, a very successful um, solar manufacturer in the country that has been producing um, around 200 megawatts of uh, uh, equipment already in terms of solar capacity possible. So one of the solutions is for households to use uh, much more self-produced electricity so that they don't rely on the network. So in times of blackouts, for example, when there is not enough supply into the country, if people have their own supply at home, decentralized supply, it will be much easier for them to, to meet uh, uh, such, such a moment of difficulty and, Martin, and avoid the blackout. Yeah. Of course, uh, blackouts, power outages, especially in winter, it's not something that anybody wants to deal with. This, of course, would have also, I would imagine, a great impact on the economies uh, of, of countries, not just Kosovo, but also other countries in the Balkans. Of course. Um, I, I mean, we are talking about some of the poorest economies in Europe, um, where, you know, competitiveness of businesses is very much compromised by, by an energy crisis. These uh, energy-intensive economies, Kosovo is not an exception, in which energy efficiency is very low, which means that uh, producers, especially the heavy industry, uh, uh, faces competitiveness issues. It cannot produce uh, the final products at, at prices that are competitive to countries, for example, in, uh, uh, in Western Europe, and thus, in these times, when uh, they face increasing electricity prices, energy prices, mm -hmm. Uh, they will not be able to export their production uh, abroad. And so this makes, uh, of course, for, for big economic trouble, unemployment rate, which is already very, very high, 
could increase okay. significantly. Great, Martin, great to get your thoughts. Martin Vladimir live to us there from Sofia.